Only on Fox, a mom's fight for answers about her daughter's death. She hopes another case solved this month could be the key. April Jones died in Oconee County three years ago. Her death ruled accidental, but her family has belief that there is more to this case. That's right. Only on Fox, Fox County's Brickley Cromer sits down with Jones's mom. She's speaking out for the first time since her daughter's death. And Brickley also talked to the sheriff today to find out if Jones' death could be connected to any other investigations. Back in 2020, I asked the Oconee County Sheriff's Office about April's case. Investigators said there was no evidence of foul play. Last week, I asked the sheriff the same question. Now he says they have not ruled it out, and they are examining the case to figure out if they have enough evidence to reopen it. A lot of times we just come out here just to see it. I mean, talk. Debbie Norton comes here often. We miss her something terrible. Where she feels closest to her daughter, April. The only difference in the, all the families is I got to have a service for my daughter and I know where she is. April Jones died under suspicious circumstances. The coroner says she died from an accidental drug overdose, listing hypothermia as a contributing factor. He also noted bruises and cuts all over her body. When I walked into the funeral home, the first thing I said to him is, that's not my daughter. It went from the daughter that I saw every day to just a body laying there that had been the from head to toe. According to this case report from the Oconee County Sheriff's Office, Jones went to a party on a Saturday night at her neighbor's house. He told deputies she had taken drugs, but seemed to be in good health when she left Sunday morning. April's body was found in her garage Monday night. Her family says she was wearing someone else's clothes. It, it just didn't happen the way they're saying. She didn't lay down, put her body under that truck, perfectly placed, stretch out and say, I'm going to die. No. Investigators continue looking. As we continue, and if the evidence leads us, then we'll certainly uh, be, be looking at April's case as well. But certainly, we've we've we're familiar with that. You know, we've heard some some information, uh, but it, again, we heard information on Kevin Craig, but we had to get to that point of being able to get that credible uh, information that we could go to court with. Earlier this month, Kevin Mailer was charged with the murder of Kevin Craig a three-year-old unsolved case. He's also the only named person of interest in the disappearance of Faith Roach, who went missing from the same street where April Jones died just one week later. Since they actually found out what happened to Kevin Craig, I hope that they will continue to look into April's case because my daughter didn't die from an overdose, not off her own doing. Kevin Craig died from a hot shot, a lethal combination of drugs. I asked the coroner if Jones could have died from the same type of overdose, but he said he could not discuss this due to it being an active investigation. All right, Brooklyn, thank you. We will continue to follow that story as it continues to develop. Brooklyn has been covering that situation for years now, and so we will be sure to update you here on air and online.